This rapport up here at uh, Georgia Tech Radio, Rec 91.1 FM with DJ Swift, Techniques, my man Mike Six, Savage Fan Productions, Bar Exam Winner coming in to do my thing, Bars and Bio, Wreck the Shop, Hold It Down for Hip Hop. You know what I'm talking about? Word, you're listening to the Wrecking Crew 91.1 WREK Atlanta, live in the house with DJ Swift and my man Rapport, winner of the Bar Exam. That came in. Nice Indeed. Time. That's, that's hot. Indeed. It's hot. It's hot. It's yeah, hot. yeah, I'll back up on yeah, that. That's just the just just first taste. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got Rache on the boards tonight. Peace to you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you can catch us on Instagram with Wrecking Crew All Stars 89 and Techniques Radio and uh, wherever else we at. I don't know. JV, we on yours? What else we on? We on, we on uh, uh, DJ Pop ATL. I got that right? Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we, we in the building. We in the building. In the building. So man, congratulations! I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? It was a uh, it was a, a crazy and awesome experience. Uh, I went in there thinking it was gonna be like an easy win, not arrogantly, but like thinking you know like I feel good about it. I got this. That's hip hop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and it was anything but that. I really it was it was uh, it was an uphill battle. It was it was not what I expected. I really had to overcome some uh, some resistance and, and opposition and came out on top. Felt pretty good. It meant more because. It, it went the way it did then had it just gone in there and done my thing and walked out with a with a w so that's dope it was, it? It was that's still steel sharp and steel you know what i'm saying and yeah that's, that's right you know, we've right. had people came up and they, they they took you know four or five turns before they got it you know what i'm saying yeah yeah and he's on the first one you know what i'm saying oh you wild carded it yeah okay. so um it, essentially you know went up did my thing a um, lot of energy, but the crowd was again. I've been in, in front of a lot of potentially hostile environments. Never had any issues. Always went them over first song. Right. I had people tell me to get off stage, past the mic before I even started. Dope. And so that was that. You know, crowd was right, and me. you had to, you had to get judges it. were against me and over over uh, you know over uh, over my my song. And then uh, the first cipher won the crowd over, but it was still up to the judges, and they had actually passed on me. And then uh, brought me back as a wild card, and then I came through and killed it, won the entire crowd, who then decides the winner, and had everybody in the building. It felt really good. That's dope. So how long you been at it? Eighth grade, long time. Yeah. Long time. Yeah, I got yeah. you. Lunch table and all that. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, uh, like right. my, I've been rapping for a long, long, long time, but my background's in a lot of like sports marketing, music marketing, behind the scenes, Okay. working with metal bands, dance groups, hip-hop okay. artists. Like, I'm into everything. I personally listen to a lot of stuff. Right. Um, and worn several hats, but, you know. Um, hip hop's what I do best, and it's certainly my passion. Rodney C, Funky Four, plus one more. You know what I'm saying? Double Trouble. Uh -huh. That's part of the crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, he always likes to ask how you fell in love with hip hop. Ooh. Okay. Good question. Do you um, remember the moment? Yeah. No, I do. Yeah. It was it was All Eyes on Me, Tupac. Um, okay. You know, I had like a Coolio's Gangsta's Paradise cassette before that. The right. first um, two CDs I ever bought was Fuji's The Score and Green Day Dookie, and my whole life was <laughs> rock, rock and metal and hip-hop going both directions. Right, right. Um, but Tupac was the first one that really made me fall in love and actually pay attention right. and, you know, moved me with words and made me want to, you know, do that. Right. That's when I was I was won over. And folks, that's when you had to go into the record store and, like, they would sometimes literally card you to buy your stuff, so. Yeah, and when you got headphones on, checking out CDs, and your friends with you, and they try to say something, and you talk way too loud, and the whole store hears what you said because you got music in here, <laughs> you, you don't understand the volume coming out your mouth, people not going to know what that's like. Exactly. Anyway, yeah. No doubt. So, and you got you got a project out right now, too. Yeah, well, I've got uh, several singles out, and then I've got my EP coming out early next year. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I thought so, it was already out. No, yeah, no, I've, I've, got, I've yeah, yeah. got three singles out. I've okay. got a... a Two more songs dropping in January, and then following with the EP after that. Right. So who you got on the production? Um, so, uh, man, um, this guy named uh, Black Jacks out of Houston. That's sick. Um, Mike Stallone, based here in Atlanta. Okay. Um, absolutely ridiculous. Um, Jay Stone. I've been recording with him. He's getting involved a little bit in the production side of things, and really doing a great job for me with Atlanta Record Factory. Right. Um, killing that. Um, man, the JC. Um, there's a, a song we got coming out called Balloons. There's a, an artist. Um, she goes by Jessica Gabrielle, Broke okay. Becky, JC. She's gone by a couple of names. Um, but we got a song together that's just absolutely massive. I'm really excited to get out there. Um, and it's produced by a guy named Felly. Um, Felly, the voice is his Instagram. He's got a song on Chris Brown's album that's killing it right now. And 
This is just recently in the last six months worked with Janet Jackson and like I mean the dude's kill. He's got like ten songs charting right now and it's an amazing song. I'm really excited about that to be a part of it. I think it's got big things coming. Dope. It sounds like you got a lot of variety in the projects yeah. too. Yeah, right? mixing so. it up. There's a guy named Kimbo Beats out of Germany that okay. I've got several tracks with that I'm in love with his stuff. Yet to meet the dude. Right. And it's it's crazy these days how you're yeah, making, the overseas making, thing. Yeah. Making music so much with people that I've, I've got so many songs with people I've never met. Right. Which right. is such a wild concept to me because. I love what you get putting people together in a room. I feel like that's one thing that you lose in all this amazing opportunity that we have. With yeah, technology. and we're a long way off from that foreign exchange album, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's what, yeah, 99, but, uh, 2000, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Yeah. It's a long time ago, and you know, it's it's amazing how that whole scene has grown where, you know, that, that's happening. Every time I talk to somebody, it's like, they got at least one producer in Norway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's, it's a different world, man. It you is. Just, you can complain or you can adapt, you know what I mean? No doubt. So. Well, you know, you came to rip and, and give us a little taste, too. You know what I'm saying? Swift, we can get that gin and juice queued up, brother. Oh, man. Yeah, no doubt. I, I, well, I Dr. You, Dre action? I hear you partial to that one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, anything 96, right. 90s, 90s West Coast to me, I, I don't want to offend or say it's, you know, that they perfected hip hop, but what they did when it came from the East Coast to the West Coast, West Coast what Dre did, Death Row Records, and I mean, all of them, Exhibit, Warren G, Nate Dogg, all of them, Pac Snoop, you know, changed everything and, right. uh, and made it universal. Right. And that's, you know, I'm, I'm definitely partial to it, for sure. Okay, okay, yeah, the funk is uh, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely sweet during that period of time, you know what I'm yeah, saying? It was a, yeah, super funky. Man. Yeah, super funky. Super funky. So, yeah, no doubt. Now, you know, I, I'm kind of an East Coast cat, so I, I take issue with that. I understand. Now, I, I didn't make the claim. <laughs> I just said, I just said, you know, they made it universal. Right. You know, right, and, right. And, then, and then the East Coast. I, I would argue right Cream and Pete were pretty universal. But yeah, they were. That's, but they that's, were. That's, that's, that's You're right. That's that's why it's hip hop, you know? you're right. That's you know, why so it's we, hip hop. We, we, we can disagree. We can, we can. We this is not the format where we get to go long form on that. Yeah. But yeah, man. Yeah, we're, no, we're I, speaking I, I, the same I, language. I anyway. appreciate it. You know, you talking to the crew that was breaking all those West Coast artists. You know what I'm saying? We were going back and forth between the West Coast, East Coast, Chicago, Miami. We were playing it all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we, not, we had four hours every Sunday night, and we used to rip through all of it. You know what I'm saying? Anything we could find that was dope, funky, we were playing stuff in France. That's amazing. In England, yeah, yeah, we did, we did all that. You know Na, Nas and Black Star are two of my biggest influences all day. No I mean, doubt. Quality and most deaf common all of that like just no i'm doubt. in love with it yeah. yeah 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 no doubt i mean you know crazy combos right there you know yeah, what i'm saying absolutely right at the back some of the best to do it no doubt no doubt so we got swift on the wheels you listen to the record crew 91.1 wrik atlanta uh, 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 uh. yeah yeah technique show okay okay uh on the spot and I'm ready. Last dance with Henry Jane was a while back. Tom Petty, be proud of that. But I'll be smoking with the crowd later. I've been chosen as the crowd favorite. Sacrifice is my down payment. For the life and a chance to say that I made it. I don't mess with a chicken head, the foul's flagrant. But the temptation got me thinking. Anyway, this venom in my veins got me hot. Tom Hardy, Eddie Brock on my way to the top. The dome dome kick rhymes in all the ways that you're not kicking it. Competition getting slayed like my name's Tom Araya. Got love for him, the family he's raising. Value every single conversation. Uh, you might have made the observation. I've had three times already in my presentation. An amateur would think I hit a snare in my rhyme. Au contraire, you wasn't thinking. Once I get a hi hat like Abe Lincoln, I got a full kit. Won't need the beat. Making it look easy like Anderson Pack. They make it look cheesy like the head of a Packers fan. I'm hotter than Pakistan or Texas in July, born and raised recently. Migrated to the A where I currently reside. Rep the South every line out my mouth every time. Say what I mean. This rap thing to me like cocaine to a fiend. Rogaine when your head gleam. If you're like me, hip hop is like high C to a kid. I beat to the sick, something I need to exist. And I appreciate the opportunity to pay homage. And when I'm done, they gon' want me back like the Obama period. No comma. Uh, never really been a violent dude, but I will see Kundo you if you step up and act a fool like Ludacris and get dismissed with more than bruises. Have your missus count inches on my with her lips, and when she finished, make me breakfast with eggs and biscuits. Uh, it's like that. Uh, I ain't finished. Find the headliner, tell him get my mic back. They gon' hate me. Kill every one of these characters like Scorsese. That's the departed. Don't know if you saw it, but you know characters like uh, what's his name? Uh, 
69 Skittle to hit a blunt I'm just saying Super Saiyan in this thing You a lame And these kids The only one that's gonna buy it And when they grow up They gonna know that you was lying And playing the mall Why don't you take your little friends And go play in the mall It makes sense Your time is like retail limited Me and Amazon delivering this here To your doorsteps steps are gonna step If you feel like you're ready But understand consequences are heavy Common sense and most F Got me ready Quality too Slim Thug Bun B What it do R A double P O R T Coming through In your ear with that new Huh Yeah Huh Yo, I'm trying to tell you I got a girl that make me feel good about it Laid back, real as ever when I'm around her Shout out to her and the others that's around me Real synergy in my world right now I say it proudly, I'm focused uh, Fill in rapport with the mostest Hit you with that audible hypnosis Nod your head like you blew your nose About 47 times Got 47 rhymes for your crew And a couple for your mom too But that's between me and her uh, And it's that Texas coming through DFW to be specific May I trouble you to be more prolific be more authentic, honest, and deliberate. Uh, pay attention to the hunches and feed the vision. It's greatness on the line. Project the death if you're listening. Uh, you only got so many days left, so make the most of it. Tell them that you love them. We gon' hold it down, baby, cold as ever. The illest one you heard never quit. Every chance that I get, I spit. Uh, like a camel, stick to you just like an animal. Got rhymes that you can't handle. Kick rhymes like Jackie Chan. I'm the man, I'm no stand, but I wreck this mic. Uh.